Women in Saudi Arabia are gearing up to drive legally for the first time ever this weekend. As Holly Williams reports, women have waited and protested for nearly 30 years to win the right to take the wheel. On Sunday, for the first time, Salma Yusuf will finally be able to drive herself to work and her three children to school. Because it will change my life, it will change my family. It's freedom. Yeah, it's freedom, yeah, yeah. She passed her test last week and chauffeured us around the campus of this women's university, where they've built a females-only driving school. That's perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you nailed it. In this conservative Islamic country, where women still need a male relative's permission to travel overseas or get married, brave Saudi women fought for the right to drive, illegally taking the wheel and shaming their government. Saudi comedians satirize the sexist attitudes behind the driving ban no, and poked fun at religious conservatives who said driving could damage a woman's ovaries. But now, as the Saudi government finally allows women to hit the roads, it's also begun arresting women's rights campaigners who've demanded total equality, reportedly including Madeha al Adrush who we interviewed in 2014. The car for the Saudi women have become the symbol of wanting our voices to be heard and our needs to be heard. We understand that Madeha al Ajrush has now been released, but other women remain behind bars. Holly Williams, CBS News, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia.